This is our 2008 robot, and the challenge was overdrive. So this robot would race around a track and try to score these huge 40 inch diameter track balls either over a finish line or over an overpass. And there's an alliance of three on three in each match, and basically whoever scores the highest wins. We created this two piece rim so that it's able to fit a tread here. This is your basic uh, tire tread that's inserted into the wheels so that it's able to last the entire competition and season. Uh, we have a lot of electronics, motors, um, for example, we have here a Toyota Vandor motor. As we move to this side, we have an air pump with air tanks and pneumatic cylinders. And what we use this for is to provide the functions for a robot. All the red pieces you see here were all made from scratch. These are all stock aluminum pieces that our kids, um, they cut, they fabricate, weld, and put everything together, so it's kind of cool. Uh, we have a lot of electronics here. And what the electronics allows us to do is to program this robot to do a set of specific functions. We also have a radio here, so that allows our controller to, to uh, communicate with the robot via uh, wireless remote control. Here we have our transmission for our robot. It's a custom-made transmission with gears, chain, sprocket, everything made from scratch. And basically what this transmission allows us to do is to shift. It's a two-speed transmission. Uh, it has a pneumatic shifter that allows it to shift between high and low, low gear, and it, it, it runs this uh, six-wheel six -wheel drive system, three on each side, using a bike chain. This robot can actually move during autonomous. Autonomous meaning you don't need to control the robot. It can think for itself and use sensors to move in a direction that it wants to. So, the, so here we have our pneumatic claw that moves back and forth. Um, with the use of our air pump system. Here we have a Toyota window motor. And so it's kind of cool, you just get the actual motor and what we did was we created a hub so that we could interface it with our chain and our sprocket system. And last but not least, we have our battery. This is your basic uh, wheelchair go-kart battery. It's a 12 volt battery system that allows us to control our robot. And behind it, if you can see in here, there's the actual brain. It's a program, programmable um, brain that allows us to control all the different functions of our robot, ranging from electronics to the uh, pneumatics to the motors.